In this demo, we're going to show you how to install on a mobile device or a uh, hand scanner InsightWorks Advanced Warehouse Management System. So the InsightWorks system is available at dmsiworks.com. Uh, the system itself is called a Warehouse Insight. Now noting the process is very, very similar to using the free app, which is uh, WMS Express, which is available in the store. So within Business Central, we will have gone to the apps uh, marketplace and we would have searched InsightWorks and you can see here all of their apps that are available for in installation. Um, it is generally a prerequisite that if we're using Advanced Insight, sorry, Warehouse Insight Advanced, we would also be using PrintNode, okay? And most likely we would be using the Dynamic Ship extension, which is just here. Okay, let's take a look. First things first, uh, you'll have to search um, Insight Registration, and it's going to come up and show you that you'll be in trial. Uh, you've got the ability to use it, how long until it expires. Uh, while you're in trial, you can only use one device with one location. Um, however, once you register it, you'll be uh, capable of um, e extending that and really you know, going to town on what you're wanting to use it for. Okay. The next thing we want to do is go into assisted setup. And within assisted setup, it will give you the option for advanced warehouse management here. Click. Do you want to run it again? Yes. And it will give you the ability to step through the inside works setup and configuration um, for your environment. So next, do we want to download the data? Yes. What is the language? Who are we registering this application to? And what is the default location for this demonstration? What is our default user? After this, when we're ready to go, it installs and configures. So let's now go into our locations and just understand the scenario of this uh, we're going to be using a location called demo. We've currently got bins enabled. We have already a default ship and receipt bin. And against here, we've also got um, receive and ship bin. We've also got AO1, AO2, which just is our default two bins that we're just going to play with and put some stock into. So nothing too overly complicated. Let's get started. Let's search installation report. Now this report gives us a PDF that you can use to configure your, your Zebras. Um, uh, in this scenario, I'm using a Zebra. So over on the screen here, you can see this is a, uh, a T, uh, TC21, and it's currently not got the system configured. I've connected to it on my computer here using Splashtop, which is a, a very easy method to turn around and um, remotely control your, your WMS. And so from there, we've, we've got to install it on here from this installation report. So a couple of things you've got to make a decision on. Um, you can log your Zebras in or your uh, WMS devices in using a common user account, and then you turn around and log in via what's called an InsightWorks user as a user card. Now, you can print these off. There's two different ways to do this. Um, you can go into your Warehouse Insight menu. You can go to Reports, Device Reports, and you've got Device Installation and your User Badge. Now, I've gone and run this user badge here for demo, and it looks like this badge just here, and this is what we'll authenticate with. Going back to the installation report. We have our two users that we've created in the Insight Works Users table. I'm going to select Demo Admin, Send to PDF. And we now have ourselves a configuration file just here. To get it installed, we're stepping through three steps. Step one, step two, step three. Step one is to download the application on the device. Being it's a Zebra, there's a step one B that we need to do with configuring um, data wedge. Step two is configuring InsightWorks to use this warehouse location. Okay, so it's, it's what links it to that particular location. And step three for us, is the bit that will take us to the, the, 
the, the user authentication. So it's, it's the same as logging in with this card. Now this is just an example just here that I'm logging in with and um, I've already got a sheet printed off on my table here um, that I'll be scanning, but uh, let's just, just step through the process. So step one, we have ourselves a, a browser. We can see everything everybody under the world is seems to be looking up, which is a bit weird. Uh, in Google, just ignore that and scan Android address, and we're just going to hit go on that. Now, this is going to give us a download. You can see I've already downloaded this a couple of times. Once it's downloaded, we just double click that. There we go. Double click. We're going to install it. Yes takes a couple of seconds to install and we're ready to go. We want to open it. Once it's opened, it's going to ask for permission to access your photos and media. You want to hit allow. We've now opened the device. We're going to close the application. I'm going to move the icon back to the main screen. I'm going to click and hold on the application. App info. I'm going to full stop. Okay. The reason for this is in data wedge. You're going to have two key things that you're going to have to do. Now you're going to have a new profile called Warehouse Insight. We have to turn around and add insights as the associated apps. So by default, in here, you'll have this insight works with a capital W. I have subsequently gone in and clicked Add New App, and I've installed this insight works with the lower W. Right? And the, the second one you can delete. The second thing that we need to do on this device is we need to go into the scanner settings so configure scanner settings just here and we need to enable the decoders that are applicable for our region so here i've enabled strain postal but another one that's common that is is regularly misunderstood in warehousing in australia especially with food it's what's called interleave two or five so i've just clicked on this interleave and i've hit enable and now it's there it will work within the profile of InsightWorks, when you open the InsightWorks profile, scanning will work. So just to say again, if you're using a Zebra, you've installed the app and it's not scanning, you have a problem, you need to go and fix your data wedge settings. All right, we're opening the device, we're scrolling down on the screen and you can see step two. My printed sheet is actually for the Queensland warehouse and I'm gonna run with that, um, cause that's for a demo. It's now configured. And it's going to ask me to authenticate. The first time you log in here, it needs to be a domain admin. Okay, now we've authenticated with the username and password. It's now giving me the ability to sign in as a user. All right, we would recommend that you click Remember Me. All right, and then you scan the third section here, this Insight Works user. All right, going back to our shipping section here within Business Central. I know that we've got a few things going on right now. So as you can see, I've got some receipts and some shipments. If I was to click on receive, we should see a receipt. There's one there. And if I was to go picks, I should see some picks here that are available for us. The other thing that we'll do just to test, I've printed off on a document some codes here. I can go to an item inquiry and I can scan this item just here. And it's going to pull up every bin that this item is in. I've got 15 units in stock in AO2. The other thing that we can do, we can go back and we can scan as a bin inquiry, starting off at receive. In receive right now, there is nothing. In ship, there is something which is expecting to be shipped out today. We've got in AO1, the bin on the shelf, I've got a ton of stock of spring water and Dura and a bunch of other things here and AO2 got some spring water and, and Athens desks so you can see here straight away that the device straight out of the box she's up and running and she's ready to go in the next tutorial we're going to take you through the process of uh, receiving goods and uh, sending goods out <music>